Hey guys, at BV Matson here, and real quick, I'm gonna take you through a kind of a tricky little process. That's installing a new gasket in your gas cap. Now let's take a close look at this thing. It actually spreads apart. All right, it's important to note you don't just put it on there like that. All right, it fits. But what you got to do is you've got to spread, you know, this gasket apart, this rubber gasket apart, and it's got to loop around here. So you've got to get one side on this side and the other side on the bottom side. And uh, this can actually be kind of tricky, but again, got my dental pick and my dental pick has proven to be pretty useful for this. You can use your dental pick to just kind of push one edge. Oops, drop my dental pick. I got fumbly fingers today. And just use that to push this bottom edge down. Just push it down. I think in another life, I must have been a dentist considering how much I love the using my dental pick for a bajillion different things. Um, so here we go. I'm just gonna start moving this, this gasket around. It's gonna stretch a little bit, okay? It's, Cause it's gotta come back onto the gasket. So don't be afraid if you're stretching it a little bit, but just work your way around slowly but surely and get that gasket in there. You know, I'm being really careful not to puncture the material or anything as well. I'm really just using this edge of the dental pick to move that all down. So um, that's the trick. It doesn't just pop straight on. You gotta take the time to actually push this thing into position. So it's a labor of love, let me tell you. See how that popped over? You can already see as I'm working my way around it's going through there again, just using that brunt side. I mean, this, buying this dental pick, I think I bought it off Amazon for like six bucks. And it, between that and probably the, this tool and the Dremel, I mean, <laughs> I, I don't think I could really live without it doing this kind of work. So again, just keep pushing it through. Um, be really gentle with it. There you go. See, got another little section in. And we're gonna just drop this in, okay? Just keep working it around, guys. Be patient with this one. You definitely don't wanna to have to bust it, uh, bust your gasket and then order another one. So I'll put it on time-lapse mode from here, but I just wanted to make sure you knew that you gotta get it under and over on this gasket. So let's go to time-lapse mode. No joke. <laughs> this is kind of a pain in the ass. Take your time, go slow. Yeah, I got myself about halfway around now. Um, this is a really, <clears throat> really, really tedious process, guys, and you've got to just take your time to do it. What I'm finding that works the best is actually to push the whole thing down and around. Make sure that you get that bottom edge down, okay? Just get kind of split it with the dental pick, and then make sure that you push it down underneath. And then pull the top in. So there, see? There, bam, that went down. And I can pull the top edge up. So I'm just kind of working my way around and then pulling it back up. I hope you guys can see that. This is tough. This is tricky, man. It's taken a while. Um, but super, super important um, that we get this installed correctly. Um, and you can see, you know, I'm about halfway around. I've got it all working. Should get easier and easier, easier, right? As I keep going. So back to time-lapse mode, but I think it does help to push it down first and then just force that bottom edge down carefully and then pull that over. It'll go. You got to, got to have some patience. And I think I'm finally there. I just need to push this one section down and pull this bottom section back up. Oh God, it came back up. It's so close. So close. It's almost on there. Come on, buddy. There we go. <laughs> there it is. There it is. It is on all the way around. That's how you do it, guys. All right. <sighs> That took a little while, no joke, but uh, wanna make sure I got that little detail in there. Again, the whole point is to be exhaustively detailed in these videos, because I don't wanna leave any stones unturned. So there you go, that's how you do it. That's how you install that new gasket in your gas cap. I'm just gonna go around and make sure it's all in there just perfectly. Give it one nice little tug and yeah, that's on there, it's perfect. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please thumbs up. 
Also, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. It means a lot. Also, follow along Instagram and Twitter at BV Matson. See you in the next video.